Nothing's changed. Get on with your work. Lieutenant? You heard me, Captain. Return to your stations. The ice captain. What? Good God. He's alive. Get him on board. to tell me where you are bound. We're on a voyage to discover a northern passage to the east. I'm Robert Walton, captain of this expedition. Here, drink this soup. We'll be safe in our care. No one is safe. Not while he is out there. You've seen him, haven't you? A large man on a sledge. <gasps> Easy. Uh, uh, <coughs> Please. Help me find him. Before he murders again. Murders? There are very few reasons for one to venture out here in such uncharted territory. But I see something dangerous in your eyes. <laughs> in my eyes? Yes. That same ambition that set me on my tragic course. <laughs> my ambition? If this voyage of discovery is successful, it will change the world. Do you have a wife? A family? No, the love of my life is my sister, Margaret. This is a likeness of her. There was a time when happiness filled my life too. Oh, misfortune unparalleled tortured my mind. No human being ever passed a happier childhood than I. I look back upon those years with great affection. My parents indulged me with inexhaustible love and support. It was a season made for joy. Victor! Victor Frankenstein, come on! I longed to learn about all that the world could offer. And my beloved father was a willing teacher. He most enjoyed that his young son valued the importance of education. Yet as Providence would have it, 
some of the vital lessons learned proved to be much different than what my father intended. Keep your eye on that rabbit. Fire. <laughs> well done! You got him! Excellent! Good boy. Come on, Bruno. Good boy. 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 There he is. Well done. <laughs> it was the revelation of death which sparked my curiosity. I became consumed with unraveling the mysteries of life and the secrets of man's soul. Victor! Victor! Still awake? Plenty of time to read tomorrow. Mama, when will I die? Well, when you're old and grey, my darling. But what happens when I do? Well, your heart gets so tired that it just stops beating, and then you go to sleep. What if I wake up again? Once you die, you can never wake up. Every living thing dies, Victor. It's the law of nature. God's law. What if I find a way to help people live forever so that nobody has to die? Then you'd be the greatest man who ever lived. Until then, you'll just have to be my favorite little boy. My dear mother became concerned that a young child held such a morbid fascination. Her response was to show me the joy of opening one's heart by bringing home an orphan child. She's all alone, Alphonse. Not anymore. Her name was Elizabeth. Hmm? I'm delighted your son Henry and Victor have become such good friends. Yes, and that Elizabeth. Lovely girl. Quite Christian of you to take her in, especially with no inheritance. Because. It was the least we could do, Clerval, given all we're blessed with. I see. Did you really catch them all? Everyone wants to see. Can I see too? Astrology. Clever Victor is always buried in his silly books. They are not silly. And if you'd read half as much as you should, you would realize the world need not be a secret. Secret? What good are the secrets of nature? The mysteries of man's soul, if not to be divined by us mere mortals. Are there no limits to your imagination? Only those imposed by God. Come here. Oh! Give me! Please. Thank you. Not bad. Could use a little more. Imagination. <laughs> Studying science and medicine is one thing. Thank you, Victor. Justine. Make sure to eat some that before it gets gone. Yes, ma'am. Does one need proof to know that oxygen exists? Or God? William, stop feeding Bruno. He's hungry, Mama. Victor, tell your brother not to feed the dog. William, do not feed the dog. You have been told before. No. Faith is a different matter entirely. 200 years ago, the church accused Galileo of heresy. Now, his once radical theories on planetary motion are accepted as fact.
this is where you are. It is beautiful. What are we looking at tonight? The great beyond. The unknown. Who knows what man is capable of? And who knows if it is all good? Hmm? Fear not, dear Guinevere, Sir Lancelot shall defend your honour. I was not aware my honour needed defending, Henry. <laughs> then I will conquer Arabia for you. Uh, I will eradicate all disease and famine. Uh, <laughs> I will redeem the Holy Sepulchre from the infidels. Uh, then I shall pledge you my soul. Your soul? That's barely worth a penny. Bruno, come back! Bruno? Bruno, stay! Bruno! Hey, watch out, Bruno! <laughs> Devastated by Bruno's death. I longed for the impossible. To change fate. But death's draw was ultimately too great to defeat. Or so I thought. another one, watch it grow. If a single charge of electrical energy can cause such destruction, imagine what it might create. Go away. To university. Whatever for. The law. No, father. I wish to direct my studies toward the metaphysical. There is so much that I do not know, that I wish to know, about science, the secrets of nature. You want to leave here? Only to Ingolstadt. It is not very far. I shall write often. Mama. Thank you, William. Please. No. 
You must hear it all before it is too late. What is that? It's the ship. The ice. As with any adolescent, I was blind to nature's reckless indifference to those most precious. My mother, so vibrant, suddenly, inexplicably fell ill to one of God's unvanquished afflictions. What is taking him so long? I'm afraid she has scarlet fever. <laughs> I will send someone to send to her. No need, Doctor. I will see to her. Elizabeth, you can't! Nonsense. She is my mother. I can help, too. All this just to keep me from leaving. You must go to university, Victor. Your destiny lies beyond this world. You will get well. You must face facts. We shall try another doctor. Find different medicines. Having you children here beside me is all the medicine I need. You must listen to me. I have seen the way you both understand each other. Like your souls are connected. You must promise me one thing. Anything. That you two will marry and be as happy as your father and I have been. Ensure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord, Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God, our sister, Caroline, and we commit her body to its final resting place. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord praise her, and the Lord bless her. The Lord make his face to shine upon her and grant her peace. Amen. 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 Despite the depths of my sorrow, I kept the promise I made to my mother before her death. On voyage, son, make your family proud. I will, Father. What are you doing? I'm coming with you. To university? What about your father? To hell with that narrow-minded vulgarian. I am getting a liberal education. Drive on! <laughs> <laughs> and so I began my journey. Wide-eyed. Hopeful. Never once thinking anything could possibly go wrong. Did you see him? 
No. The fog's too thick. Set an extra watch. Make sure all the crew are armed. No one is to leave the ship. Not for any reason. It is not a man. What is it? Tell me. We are actually here. Now what do we do? Embrace our destiny, Henry. Teachers of this science promised impossibilities, alchemy, the fountain of youth, and they performed nothing. The modern masters of science promise very little, but these philosophers, whose eyes seem made only to pour over microscopes and crucibles, have indeed performed Miracles. So, what comes next? Is anybody's guess? Perhaps someone sitting in this room? You are fortunate to be young in this time. Well, wish you all a good day. It's fascinating. Professor. Professor Waldman, sir, I am Victor Frankenstein. You were late. Yes, I know. I am sorry. It was my first day. Hopefully not your last. Regarding that, sir, I wanted to say how inspiring your comments were. Good. I've always believed science to be the doorway to the unknown, the key to unlocking the secrets of nature. And I've always believed that I possess a natural talent for it. Anyway, I was wondering, hoping really, that you might agree to be my advisor. Well, I'm honored to have such an enthusiastic disciple. That is, assuming that your enthusiasm equals your effort and ability. Yes, sir, of course. I wish to know everything about physics and chemistry, to, to focus my studies on pure science. A man would make a very superficial scientist if he attended to those departments alone. If you really want to be a man of science and not merely a petty experimentalist, I should advise you apply to every branch of natural philosophy, including mathematics, 
There's more to learn, Frankenstein. There's much more. Just think, Henry, in most studies, one goes as far as others have gone before and there is nothing new to learn, but science is all about discovery. And what will you do with all this newfound discovery? Pioneer a new way. Reveal the deepest mysteries of creation. from Elizabeth and two from my father threatening to disinherit me if you insist on carrying on with this ridiculous escapade. Mm. Escapade's a big word. Burn. Do not tell me you stayed up all night reading again. I have made a decision, Henry. To let me finish all the strudel? to devote myself to chemistry. The science of life. I thought it was Elizabeth you were devoted to. Elizabeth. Give. Give. Dearest Victor, little has changed since you left, and yet so much. Father busies himself with business and investments. Well, Justine and I managed to keep the house running and everyone fed. William, however, has the devil in him. Flying kites, climbing trees, keeping us endlessly entertained. Doing everything but his lessons. I miss you so. It scares me. All the organs in the human body, which is the most important? Frederick. Clearly the heart, since it pumps the blood. And Frankenstein. Actually, the brain is the most important, Professor. And why is that? Well, it's the center of our nervous system, comprised of millions of tiny nerve fibers connecting every organ in our body, which causes nerve action. We have two methods of retaining an electromagnetic charge. One is on this side, the other is working away. You see these two methods, I want you to come down and call back to your partner. What do you think the difference between the material? Materials are the contain the charge. Call out as fast as you can. Copper wire coiled tightly together to maximize the velocity of the charge. What do you think the difference is between this charge and this one? And also the difference in the time it took to get this shot. I mean, the smoke is coming because there is smoke equally as well. The music for the carnival show may be, but exactly of what That's scientific acid. 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 There's two two acids, one sulfuric and one hydrochloric on the other side, and they can interchange depending on their intensity. For all of these experiments, it is important to have the heat catalyst. The fifth one, it's a spontaneous. Water solution with ammonia solution creates a complex solution of what? Herr Frankenstein. Nickel ammonia chlorate. Is it possible to create, for example, electricity? Electricity. Electricity. Is, in principle, it is how to convert energy released in a chemical equation the same way that the electromagnetic charge is... Is the chemical reaction entirely dependent on the, the, the heat factor, or would it work we, the it's same? It's still a mystery to know that. What's in there, anyway? You will see. Welcome to my laboratory. You set all this up? Yes. 
Well, with Professor Waldman's guidance, I acquired most of the equipment from the university. And this is a body. What? No, not a real one, of course. It is a detailed model of the human body, made entirely of wax. Cheery thing. What are you planning on doing with him? Henry, please. This will help me learn all there is to know about anatomy, about the way our body functions. I think I'll stick with history. That is not funny, Henry. Sorry. What you're talking about here is nervous response, involuntary reaction. If a single charge of electricity can induce such a reaction in a muscle, then why not a heart? <laughs> or an entire body, for that matter. You are jumping to conclusions. Is that not the job of a scientist? To dream the impossible. You said yourself the brain sends nerve impulses throughout our bodies which causes reactions. Impulse, yes. Electricity, no. Yes, but what if that which we call our life force is nothing but electrical energy. Victor, Victor, only God can make life. If an artist can create beauty with paint and brushes, then why cannot a scientist create life with flesh and bone? You are talking sacrilege, contrary to the laws of nature. Am I? Is it against those laws to inoculate mankind against smallpox? Or to use bifocals to help one to read? Or to set a bone that is broken? That is entirely different. Why? Should we allow people to die when science and medicine can save them? The progress of science demands experimentation.
alive. You were alive. Hey. Might as well. Strange place to be wandering. I'm a scientific student from the university. So what's the going rate for a right one? I would not know. <sighs> you think I am robbing graves. <laughs> now why on earth would we think that? I was just curious. <laughs> know what they say about curiosity? see your face again, pretty boy. It'll be your body for sale. <laughs> Just showing you. Wrong. Come on, that's a word. Victor? Sir God, what's happened to you? Professor, sir, I need your help. Try all the mystery, at least tell me where we are going at this late hour. Buy this, please. To fathom life, one must understand death. experiments with electricity. Frog, yes. Well, I went further. Much further than I told you. What do you mean? A dog. It was dead. Until... You shocked him. Back to life. Only for a moment. Most definitely alive. And that is when it struck me. If it is possible to reanimate a dog with a moderate electrical current, then why not a human? No! No, what if I infuse a human body with an electrical force so powerful that it brings life? God, what have I done? What have you done? Nothing less than inspire me, Professor. Like no one else. To believe in knowledge, in possibilities. This is wrong, Victor. What you're doing is wrong. You must stop before it is too late. How can you say that? You, of all people. Knowledge is not evil. No, knowledge may not be. It's 
what one does with it. It's the unintended ramifications, consequences. I thought you believed in progress. And science and achievement. Dabbling with electricity is one thing, but this... I insist that you come with me. No, immediately. I hope you know what you're doing. I know exactly what I am doing. No. No. Only God can make life. Down below, sir. Out of the cold. My men will keep watch. Tell me, Captain. Have you ever craved knowledge so desperately? Strove to unravel a secret so dark that you were willing to sacrifice everything, even your soul? You should ask my wretched crew. Man's pursuit of knowledge is at the heart of his greatest achievements. And evils. Hmm. Paradise lost. I have lost everything. Except the will to carry out my fate. Your fate? To destroy him. And all evidence that he ever lived. Victor gets in his studies. The world could come to an end, and he would not be the wiser. Victor? It is Henry. Open the door. Victor, answer me. Are you ill? I am fine, Henry. I'm working. There is a letter from Elizabeth. Slip it under the door.
I found wandering the streets. My God, Victor, what are you wearing? Victor, Victor, stop! What is wrong? arrived in time.
What is so funny? <laughs> Absolutely everything. Victor! Oh, Victor! Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> Stop it! You're making me... Like this was inevitable. He has been working obsessively for a month. Thank God you came. But he will recover, will he not? If he's quiet and rests, I'll send a real doctor. I will come back and see him myself in a few days. Watch over him closely. Bye. He has been so distant lately. Working round the clock. Up there in that lab of his. I cautioned him. But he would not listen. Working on what?
Agatha, I'm sorry, but that's all the wood I've chopped today. Father, it's time to eat. We'll manage, sweetheart. I'll help you chop more tomorrow. As if you have to do already. <laughs> me too, Daddy. Can I help chop wood? You can help me all you want, Eva. <laughs> now then, you sit there. Sit up straight. There we go. Doesn't this look wonderful here? Mm. Now, Ethan, come on. Mama? Hmm? Where do vegetables come from? The ground, from the seeds we plant. How do they grow? Hmm. God nourishes every living thing. He created them all. Do I come from the ground too? No, silly. From my belly. But where all babies come from? From their mothers. Every last one. Even the fishes of the trees? Even the birds and the bees. Everything. Where is it gone now? Hmm. Up there, in heaven. Can he see us? God sees everything that happens. Good. Oh, God. is real. How are you feeling? Thirsty. <laughs> well, I have had the most dreadful dreams. It is all over now. <laughs> <laughs> all of this time you've been here. Then you were not angry with me for intruding. You rescued me. From what? The place was such a mess. I hope you do not mind me cleaning up. No, of course not, thank you. Elizabeth, you did not happen to see my journal. No, but I can look for it if you like. No. It will turn up. Such a lovely day. Would you like to go for a walk? 
Yes. <laughs> Felix? Felix! Agatha? What is it, my love? You sneak. When did you tell all this? I didn't. How strange. It's a miracle. It will keep you warm. You must pay the rent. I can't pay the rent. You must pay the rent. You must pay the rent. I'll pay the rent. Nice to be back among the living. Victor, when you were ill, who was it you thought you saw? What do you mean? You were hallucinating that someone was in the room. Someone who was trying to harm you. Well, fever affects the brain in strange ways. Tell me, what should we have for dinner? Well, how about some lamb? Lamb would be lovely. Excuse me, gentlemen. This may sound a little odd, but have you had any strange reports or sightings of a giant creature? Another toast. <laughs> and what are we celebrating now? the most beautiful girl <laughs> in Europe. Garçon! <laughs> Another bottle! I think you've had quite enough. You? Never. Disobedience. 
and the fruit of that forbidden tree whose mortal task brought death into the world. I wish we could stay like this forever. Never go back. Perhaps we can. What about your studies? All your dreams of man's limitless possibilities? Perhaps there should be limits. Perhaps there are secrets that are better left undiscovered. What secrets? Of life and death. <laughs> it all seems so ridiculous now. Now that everything I want is right here beside me. What are you saying, Victor? <laughs> <laughs> that I love you more than anything. And I want us to be married. <laughs> as soon as possible. I do have a father. We'll be back later this afternoon. I left food on the table. We'll be fine. Bye. Bye, Eva. Be good. Be back soon. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Who's there? It's a man, Grandfather. Oh. Come in, sir. I can't see you. I am blind. You're alone? 
Yes. I am alone. You must be hungry. Yes. Yes, I am very, very hungry. And sit down, please. If I bring the gentleman some cheese. Hmm? What's wrong? Why are you crying? Nobody has ever been so kind to me before. You have a family. I have a, a father. Do you see him much? No. What about with your mother? I don't. I don't have a, a mother. Every child has a mother. That's what my mama says. You are sure you do not want me to stay? So we could go back together. You leave all the wedding preparations with father. <laughs> you know it would be lost without you. Besides, I need a few weeks to pack and get my affairs in order. Yes. Not to worry. I will make sure our friend gets home in one piece. Dearest Henry, what would we do without your friendship? I'm sure you would be just fine. <laughs> Goodbye. Safe journey. <laughs> oh, Papa's playing. <laughs> Stop! Who are you? Freddy Fassrow? Please, don't hurt my baby. I wouldn't hurt you. Keep away, you monster! What are you doing? Stay out of this, father. Why are you doing this? I know, I know you are a caring man. How do you know about us? Have you been watching? No. No. no, 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 the wood, the wood, sir. I, I put on the wood. Stay here. Stay away from me, you animal. Therefore, the larger the mass, the smaller the acceleration, which leads us to Newton's third law of motion, which states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. It's good to see you up and around. I I was quite worried. I have Elizabeth to thank for my remarkable recovery. She's a remarkable woman. Yes, I am quite fortunate. You know, now that your fever has passed, I must tell you that your observations in the area of nerve impulse were very intriguing. I'm leaving the university. Goodbye, Professor.
God. Who would make me this way? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? For my son, Victor, from Alphonse Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Is that a magic picture? No, but it is a very special one. Why? Because your mother gave it to me. I remember her singing to me. Yes. She loved to sing. Would you like to wear it for a while? Yes, please. <laughs> there. next week and miss your birthday tomorrow <laughs> William enough games show yourself William 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 Father Father William Father New system of instrumentation Father! Run off like 